Okay, so uh, this is the first of what will be, I assume, very many videos. I wasn't sure, like, I'm kind of just gonna play it by ear as far as how many videos I do with this crazy book. It's really thick. Um, I've read a lot of big books, but this one, it's not just the amount of pages, um, which I feel can, like, I don't really get daunted by a ton of pages anymore, to be honest, because I just think of it like, okay, just take one day at a time. Don't worry about how long it is you know, that kind of thing. Don't like, don't be in a rush. Don't like, I like to set goals for myself, but also I don't like to, I like to have the freedom to be like flexible with them. So if like, if I don't finish this in a month, like that's okay. If it takes me four months, that's okay. You know, <laughs> I'm kind of just one of those people. I like plans, but I also like the freedom to break my plans and not have to stick with, with it. But, um, yeah, so this book is a very interesting so far. So last week I started it. I'm at, what, page 63? I got to page 63 this morning. Um, I started last week with, like, the first, like, chapter, I guess you could call it. They're not numbered or anything, but the first bit of the book plus the forward, of course. And the forward was really interesting. Like, it grabbed me right away. It was written by a guy named David Dave Eggers, Dave Eggers, yeah, Dave Eggers, and yeah, honestly, it was the most amazing word I've ever read, like, if you want to get someone to read a book, call up Dave Eggers and have him write your forward, because, oh my goodness, I was, it was good, um, but yeah, uh, I did, like, a very little bit of research about David Foster Wallace, that's the author of this book, um, he's fascinating, I'm gonna try not to hold them up to like a god level because I feel like a lot of people do that but I also am finding myself like very hard not to because this guy is so fascinating I feel like he has a lot to say um and one thing I look for when I'm reading a book and maybe I'm my standards are a little too high or whatever but I I want a book where I feel like the author is just like <laughs> vomiting like almost like can't help themselves when they're writing. Like they have to say what they're saying. Not like, oh, like I feel like about Charles Dickens, I am so sorry for anybody I found about this, but I feel like that way with Charles Dickens. I feel like he's one of those writers. It's just how I feel about it. Again, I'm not saying this is the case with him, um, but I feel like with writers like him, like he's just writing because he's getting a paycheck or he's just writing because he's good at it, but there's no like soul and there's not like a urgency about it. I like that sense of urgency that reinvigorates me and makes me like want to listen, I guess, you know? Um, yeah. Anyways, I feel like, yeah, he's like talking to you he's not talking at you I, I i don't find it like condescending and how like i know like a lot of people will say this book is pretentious or he's showing off and i guess i can get that a little bit but like i don't mind because i feel like he does have a lot to say so that's where i what how i feel about the book um like immediately the first like page and a half i read i was just snort laughing because his humor is just it's so good it's just my kind of humor it's kind of dry and kind of like it's observing you the weirdness of humans I love that <laughs> like me and my husband will oftentimes just not to like make fun of people but just us too like everyone humans are weird what we do is weird we are just weird creatures and I just I think like a lot of sometimes break in that like fourth wall of like observing how strange of a species we are is kind of interesting. Anyway, so I feel like David Foster Wallace does that. He just observes humans and society and like how strange like our things that we set into place are and society and like all these made up things that make us go in a certain order. Like, I don't know, I just, it, it is very interesting. So I really find it really funny. However, there is constantly this underlining tone of just melancholy it's sad and 
not all of the time in, in each of the sections or, or chapters or whatever you want to call them not every time that you read each one is there like a an obvious sadness it's often time so a lot of times there are there's some horrifying uh depictions <laughs> uh so we'll talk about that in a moment but even the set there's a lot of subtle kind of just like mm, like it something just doesn't sit right and it's like a knowing like you've been there before you know what that feels like it's like he evokes this kind of feeling in you um and that was i guess that's the other thing about his let's talk about his writing um like my gut reaction the very first sitting I, I had with it was it read like I was reading a movie like I was in a movie I was watching a movie I was reading a movie like it read like a script almost um very just like um immersive like talking about one of the dean's you know keys were dangling and like I don't know just like he'll throw in a lot of like sensory mo moments of sensory that like just make you feel like you are there with in that room with these people um so i really love that um like he does it so well and in a way i've never read before that i can think of so that's really cool um what else oh there's probably so much more um again this video is about me processing it so i'm not gonna put a little pressure on getting everything out there on this video but i'm gonna do the best i can um, yeah, like I said, it's really sad. Um, oh, that was the other thing. So going along with this darkness that this book evokes. So just be forewarned, like if you're someone who's been through a lot of trauma with drugs, abuse, and, and things like that, like, please like read at your own caution or, you know, just take care of yourself, you know, um, don't read it if it's causing you fear or anxiety or if it's putting you in a place that you don't want to be it's not worth it you know um I have had my uh specifically more in my younger years um moments of really bad depression and attempted suicide when I was a kid actually which is like looking back that's crazy because I feel very far removed from who I was then but yeah like I've been there so like I can honestly really understand like a lot of like the stuff that this author is talking about um but for me personally it doesn't put me back into that dark place to where I would actively act you know do something and it doesn't put me in a place where um I find it har harmful I guess um for me and this is just me i find reading about experiences like that or watching movies on experiences that are like really dark and depressing it actually helps me to figure out why or helps me to like understand that a little bit better even that side of who i was at one point in my life um so yeah but just don't don't read it if it's going to put you in a bad place. Like, please don't. It's not worth it. No book is worth it. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Oh, I guess I'll just go into, like, how I'm taking notes. I'm actually going to just do what I did with Gravity's Rainbow and what I did with um, Ulysses. Um, and that's where I just do sticky notes. I don't know if you can kind of see it. You can barely see it. I barely made a dent in this book. But I just write notes as I'm going through it. And then I'll highlight or underline certain things if I find it really funny or impactful or just interesting that I just want to, you know, put a note in. I, I will write some notes on the sides of the book too, um, like in the pages and such. Um, but mainly I'm using my sticky note method because it worked really well for me on those other two big books. Um, I do it for other even classic sometimes like I did a little bit with War and Peace but for books that I feel like are really dense or really like hard to you just there's a lot of moving parts going on I feel like for me writing sticky notes and then like making notes as I go along really helps um yeah I was kind of I was that kid in class who had to sit in the front row had my notebook out with my pen I was probably annoying to other students but I 
I had to be that note taker and it just helps me to not just orally and like visually understand it like I'm getting fully understood by writing it out that has always helped me in processing um yeah the writing is really wonderful it's immersive I really don't want to like jump too soon on this but so far I find his writing unmatched I find it very beautiful and sad and to me I'm like yeah, it, it hits something deep within me that I needed right now. Um, didn't know I needed, but I did apparently. So um, I will kind of be posting videos throughout. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put like a timeline on when. It might be every week. It might be every other week. It might be a random surprise on. But again, I'm at page sixty three. Um, we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks for joining.